Open trances Going all to different places, different planets Hey guys, welcome to my channel. We just got to our next destination. We were in Houston for, well, the Houston area, specifically Leak City for an entire month and we're heading, we're in Louisiana now. So, oh my gosh, we're it was like this Louisiana? crazy. We're still in Texas. No, we already left. There was like a crazy thunderbolt there. There's a storm. I don't know if you can hear it. We wanted to make it to New Orleans in one shot, but it's a little bit far. It's kind of like a five hour drive. It would just be too long. So we decided to make a pit stop here. This is Iowa, Louisiana. So this is called Lake Charles RV no, Resort, which I wouldn't really call this a resort. The park itself is like very simple, very basic. It's right off the highway, nothing fancy and, sp and special, but it does have full hookups. And it was $19 for one night. Instead of parking at like a rest 19? area. Yeah, instead of parking at a rest area, we decided to do this instead. So. Yeah. Oh, Louise came in the house. Yeah, the storm is getting close. The storm seems to be getting closer and closer. So I'm going to push out the slides now um, and get everything unpacked for the night. We're going to be leaving tomorrow morning. So it's just going to be like a one night pit stop. I got all the slides out. I'm not going to like unroll the rug or do any of that since we're literally leaving tomorrow morning. It's just going to be for overnight and it's already, well, it's 4 p.m. So it's not too late. Um, but it's just gonna be so unnecessary to just have to do everything all over again. But like taking stuff out of the sink, I put a lot of stuff in the sink when we travel since it's pretty secure that way. That stuff I'm gonna leave in there um, just so it's easier. I mean, that stuff I'm gonna take out of there just cause it's gonna, we're gonna be needing the sink and things like that. But it was a pretty bumpy ride. Like the entire way here, it's, it was just the highways were not the best. And every time when it's a bumpy ride, all I can think of is like, oh my goodness, I can only imagine what's going on in the RV. Like even if you secure stuff, stuff still like shakes and moves a lot in here. So when I open like the medicine cabinet or anything like that, I'm always like, okay, something's gonna like fall out at me. Holding my hand down there just cause I know something's gonna fall out. Oh, looky here. It's a little, a little disheveled, but oh, see it only fell because of me, but not too bad. I have my skincare, all my skincare in here. And it's pretty tightly packed, so it's actually pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and go through the RV and what I can unpack, I'll unpack. And then certain things that, you know, can stay like this is going to stay in the same position. I'm not going to put any of my makeup on the counter. Well, actually I might because I need access to the closet. There was one other time where we stayed overnight. For the most part, we either, like the last place we stayed at was a month. We were at the beach in Bolivar Peninsula, that was a month. But for the most part, we stay like three, four nights, I would say. There was one other time where we stayed overnight only because between our where we were leaving and our next campsite there was one day in between where we had um, there was no no availability at either campground so we stayed at a park that had no hookups there was availability for a site that had no hookups um, but the site was like on a hill literally <laughs> so my husband tried to make it level as much as possible but even then it was so unlevel and you just walking through the whole rv you can feel like vertigo it just felt so weird and i was like we're never doing that again we've never done like rest areas or cracker barrels or anything like that um like overnight but this was nice because it was like 19 dollars. so it's like why not you get the full hookups although i don't even know if my husband's gonna hook up all the way yeah this is where we are now this is our journey sometimes it's glamorous sometimes it's not so glamorous but you know you kind of like learn as you go and make it work good morning good morning good morning my daughter's over there watching youtube videos on how to make slime and all these other crafts and projects and stuff hold on let me get situated here let me get situated here i actually look tired on camera <laughs> like you know somebody looks sleepy I feel like i look super sleepy just woke up um yesterday we had dinner went around a couple times, walked around a couple times, and then it started like terrestrial downpouring, just non-stop rain and thunder. We haven't experienced a thunderstorm like that in a long time where it's just like non-stop rain and thunder. Usually you'll, like you can hear the thunder in the distance and then it comes over you and then just keeps going. This was like, it was just like all night long. And I think today as well as Saturday, even in New Orleans, I think it's supposed to be raining so the only non-rainy day is Sunday, so I think that's when we might explore New Orleans. They have a highway across the lake that goes across the lake. So there's a bunch of little, they call, I think, I believe Louisiana has parishes. What am I talking about? I'm so tired, hold on. Let me get my thoughts together. Let me get my sip of coffee in because I feel like I'm all over the place. Anyway, the only non-rainy day is Sunday so we're gonna be staying in 
the Fontainebleau State Park, which actually looks really nice. It's across the lake, right across from New Orleans. So there's New Orleans, there's like this big lake, I forgot what it's called. Um, we're gonna be staying on the other side, which is not that far of a drive. And you can actually cut, cut through the lake in the sense that there's a highway going all the way across the lake from where we're gonna be staying, well, like around there. I believe it's the longest highway in the United States. I don't know about the longest in the world over water. Uh, it's about like 20 something miles, I think. So we might take that. That would be kind of cool, kind of cool to experience and head down to New Orleans for the day. Go to church in the morning since it's Easter Sunday, which happy Good Friday by the time you guys are watching this. Easter and everything will have been over, so I hope you everybody had a lovely Easter weekend. Um, and then after church on Sunday, just go down and explore. I wanna explore the French Quarter because there's a lot of French inspiration because of how that whole area came to be. So I'd love to, since we're gonna be like so close by, I would love to just, you know, see it. Uh, maybe hit up a coffee shop. Love hitting up coffee shops. That's kind of what's on the agenda. But this was just like a little layover situation, which by the way, I mentioned yesterday that we weren't gonna really like pop anything out or really um, connect. This site does have full hookups for the sites that we have their backing because they do have pull through. Pull through, I think it's like $10 more. They have the main office there and then they have that area there. That is a laundry plus bathrooms and showers. So for $19 a night, right off the highway, if you're like traveling through and you need somewhere to stop, full hookups, they have picnic tables. I mean, granted, there's really nothing to do here in terms of like the park itself. I think they even called it an RV resort, which I feel like that's a bit of a stretch. That's it. Mama. Can you tell we'll you do a bunch of different experiences. I, I want um like a two slide <laughs> together with a pink one. Mm -hmm. I mean orange. And then just put it in the freezer and let it sit. Oh. Uh, and then you just take it out and that's it's so easy. Where are your pajamas? Because we have everything. Mama. Mama. Me and Bianca have the same cute little pajamas. Mm. Luisa's not wearing hers. But mm -hmm. we have she usually she fell asleep super early yesterday. Um, no, 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 no. So they come with here. Stand up for a second. The kids ones come with like these cute shorts. Kids versions come with shorts. I have the adult version. I'm wearing the pants right now, and it also comes with shorts for the adults that you can like switch out if you want to wear pants or you want to wear shorts. But I was actually pleasantly surprised with this material because I have owned like satin pajamas in the past that were so cheap. These are a little bit pricier. They're the same exact brand as the forest green. They're like a soft fabric type material. I got them on Amazon for like the Christmas time. I used them for a Christmas photo. It's like a dark Christmas green color. I absolutely love them. So this is from the same brand, but these are just, I thought they'd be so cute for like Mother's Day. So I got them for the girls. They come in other colors as well. So you can get them for like, um, boys you know they range in various sizes but i just thought they were and they're pretty good quality like i was actually pleasantly surprised at how like silky smooth they are it's like such a weird this is this is the thing with vlogs it's like you talk about so much random stuff but as i was saying before we got to talking about slime we i said that we weren't gonna really pop out all the slides or anything like that we ended up popping out all the slides hooking up to i think full hookups thing my husband did sewer just for the bathroom side not the kitchen I think I can't remember what he said but yeah we're gonna have breakfast in a little bit and then head on out it's a three hour drive to Fontainebleau State Park and I hope to vlog there the area itself that we're staying at on the other side of New Orleans seems nice seems like they have a lot of great coffee shops I already scouted one out it's called the book and the bean I think it looked really cute. It had like a whole back shelf of books that you can actually buy. My daughter's obsessed with books. Like she loves libraries. So it would be fun to take her there on Saturday because it's going to be like a rainy Saturday. So maybe we'll do that. But that'll be like a whole, a whole other vlog. I'll show you guys the campground, the next one, Fontainebleau, once we get there. Maybe do some of that vlog. It's just nice because I feel like you, as much as our brains try to remember as much as we can, we can't remember everything about everything that we did and everywhere that we went. You have certain memories that you remember and then other things that you remember throughout your life, but it's like 
with vlogging and tonight's because you, even I'll watch, it sounds, it might sound weird, but I watch our own videos sometimes. So I'm like, oh, guys, look, this is so much fun. We did this, we did that. And just like little, little memories to go back on. I don't know. Get my little pen ready. I don't know what this yellow stain is. Probably the kids. Right there. So we came down through Texas, went down to the Gulf, stopped here. This is where we were. Oh, no, yeah, we went this way through, down through Texas. Stayed here for about a month, then went to, this was the um, League City, and then went around Baytown to Lake Charles. Next stop, New Orleans. Well, actually, we're going to be right here. Okay, so it's Lake Pont Chartrain. All right, we're going to be packing up now. I just washed the dishes. I'm going to have to dry them because I use the sink area to put everything from the counters into the sink. It's just the best way to secure everything so it's not... Um, just so it's nice and secured. My husband just took the light down. We take it down because obviously otherwise it would be swinging and crack. And then I don't have like a step-by-step -step what I do, but there's just certain things that I do. It's not always the same. our tiny tiny home home on wheels all packed up ready for our next destination I just made myself the dirty matcha latte and I'm gonna add some lavender syrup because it's just not sweet at all and I feel like matcha for me personally tastes so much better when, when it's sweet so I'm gonna go ahead and do that we got a full tumbler of water got my laptop we have keep the internet we have t-mobile um, with the hotspot we keep that hooked up as we're driving so you kind of get access to internet my kids can use their pads while they're in the truck as well because it does reach into so i'm just kind of trying to squeeze through it does reach into the truck so i'm going to do that we got our sandwiches apples granola bars bananas oranges things like that i like to pack snacks but that's kind of little tidbits of how we pack up as we travel it can be a little bit of a hassle especially if you're just staying overnight we this is only the second time we've done this usually we stay at least to like three nights um, we stayed in Branson Landing for a very long time, probably like a month, I want to say. Yeah, I think we stayed at a month in Branson Landing, Galveston we stayed at for a month, well actually it was Boulevard Peninsula, and then League City we stayed for a month. So those are a lot nicer because you kind of get to like really explore the area if you're staying for a month. But for the most part, the whole way we've been traveling, we've been doing like three, four nights I would say because we usually stay at state camps and state camps they usually don't have um, sewer hookup so your tank can only hold so much you'd have to dump it and then in order to dump it you gotta close the slide so I feel like at that point might as well just up and go actually my husband does want to buy they have like these little almost looks like a little suitcase but it's like a poop suitcase and you dump everything from your tank into this canister situation and then you wheel it you attach it to the back of your truck so instead of having to hook up um, you know pack everything up in the RV and dump you just dump it into this little canister situation I don't really know what the term is for what they're called and then you wheel it to the dump station dump it and then um, you can just con continue your stay my husband has we've seen a lot of people do that my husband has been looking in into that I feel like that is a lot oh somebody's upset all right we gotta go hope you guys enjoyed 
off we go to New Orleans. I'm gonna go deal with it, and I'll see you guys hopefully very, very soon. What if we run out?